Hello people, did you ever found yourself in a situation uh, like this one uh, here in this table? We have some data and we want to insert uh, some dates inside a column. It is a very tedious process and when we accomplish it the possibility of making some errors uh, in typing the dates is very high. There is a system uh, that we can use to simplify that process and uh, at the same time reduce to almost zero the possibility of doing an error. The solution is to take advantage of uh, the presence of a particular control that is inside uh, Excel. Uh, we will insert that control inside uh, a new set form and then with uh, some very simple line of code uh, we will activate it when needed. So uh, let's switch to the developer, uh, to the, the BBA editor. Go uh, select the developer tab, go to Visual Basic. Uh, inside the project, project explorer window, identify the workbook in which you are working. Uh, then right click on it, go to the insert, insert user form. When uh, the user form is uh, uh, inserted, usually the toolbox should appear also. But if it does not appear, like in this case, go to the view menu and then click toolbox. Uh, the, the control that we want, to, that we want is uh, is not inside the, is not between the the default controls of the the toolbox we have to in uh, to in to add to add it uh, to them and to do this uh, right click inside the toolbox click on additional controls in the additional controls window scroll down until you find the microsoft mount view control select it and then click OK. Now the control that we want is, is inside the toolbox and we can select it. Um, click on it, select it, then go to uh, the user form, find a good position uh, for the control and then you can insert it. Uh, no matter how you stretch uh, the control, it has fixed dimensions. At this point, we can resize the user form. Then we make a little room at the bottom of the user form. Uh, so we can add uh, uh, a button control. Click on the button control and then insert it inside the user form. At this point we, we can close the toolbox. Now um, we have to change the names of this object in something, in something that is uh, uh, more meaningful. Uh, first we change, we change the name of the user form to calendar then we change the caption calendar then select the command button and then uh, we change the caption to close now we are ready to insert uh, the very simple VBA code uh, that will make this, uh, uh, this thing active uh, select the user form, then very carefully select the calendar control and right click on it and then press view code. This is the subroutine uh, which uh, of the uh, date click event of the calendar control. Inside this uh, little subroutine type uh, this uh, single line of code. OK, 
Okay. Uh, now we select, we double click on the name of the user form and then we select the um, button control, right click on it, press view code and, and, then, we, uh, and then we can type uh, another single line of code. This line will close the, the user form when it is open. Uh, it is open inside uh, the spreadsheet. Uh, okay. Now uh, the last thing to do here inside the VBA editor is to um, to create a command that we can uh, activate uh, when we are inside the the, 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 the spreadsheet. Um, and to do this select uh, inside the project explorer window select the uh, the name select the the, the, the work the workbook in which you are working uh, and then go to the insert and then insert module we can change the name of the module in this way Then click inside the code window of the, uh, of the module and then uh, type this simple subroutine. We type the name of the user form, show, and then we insert false. This little false uh, at the end of the code line does magic. Uh, it makes our uh, user form floating inside the spreadsheet. Uh, let me show you how it works. Uh, to trigger the, the user form, I recommend you to, uh, to um, attach uh, the macro that uh, uh, opens it uh, to a, a, a quick access uh, toolbar uh, icon. And to do this, go to File, uh, Options, uh, Quick access toolbar, macros, select uh, the macro that uh, will open the user form and then add it uh, to the quick access toolbar. Then we move it in a better position and then we uh, create uh, we give to this uh, this macro a nice control like uh, this one. It's very nice. Click OK. As you can see, OK to confirm. Then every time we press uh, this little uh, icon up here, the our calendar uh, appears, and uh, we can select. Uh, the cell in which we want to insert the date and then press the date inside the calendar. We can change uh, the amount. Uh, we can also change the here. And it is very extraordinary because uh, with the user form activated, we can we can create a new worksheet and start to work and insert dates inside this new worksheet and move between the worksheet with the user form activate. Isn't that amazing? When you, have, when you want to close the, the user form, just, just use the, the usual command, the X, or just use the close button. So uh, this is... Uh, uh, a little tutorial 
it is, as you can see, it is very simple uh, because I love uh, simple solutions and uh, hope you like it. Uh, thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video.